Hello everyone and welcome back to another Throne Liberty video. Today we're going to talk about skill points, passive skills, and how do you actually like upgrade your spells or skills in Throne and Liberty. So when pressing K, you will see here that based on which weapon you have chosen, you will have different skills. So for example, if you um, select daggers, you will have a set of 20 different spells, active spells from daggers. You will have then over here also passives. And which two different weapons you can then combine which spells you want. For example, normally I play great sword and one hand sword uh, shield, which is a tank build. So you can see here that based on this, I have my two hand sword spells, I have my uh, shield spells, and then I can combine them down here in the bottom to a perfect build that I like. I also have the passives over here, which I can combine as I want. So this is basically depending on which weapon you pick, example, a crossbow, a staff, a wand, a longbow, all your spells and passives will change. But yeah, so going back to greatsword. So this is basically your skills, your spells. You unlock them the high level you get, and these last uh, two, three, you get them at like level 50. So you get more and more and more the more higher level you get. You also have your defense skills, which is basically your block. So whenever monsters, they do that circle, uh, purple circle that closes in, then you have to use your counter spell, which is this defense skills. For example, the great sword here has where it deals damage back and has a chance to stun them back. Where the ward, uh, sorry, the, uh, the shield here also like take, it restores your health actually, block of course damage, and then you can use it again to deal damage back. So like this one here deals more damage. This one here also restore your health, which is of course nice when you're playing a tanking role. So that's how the spells works based on the weapon and so on. But how do you actually also upgrade these spells? Well, that's the tricky one. So when you when you hover your mouse over each of the spells, it doesn't matter if it's a passive one from here, active one or your defense, you can see that it's like an arrow up that this one can be actually upgraded. So for example, if we took this green one here, because what happens is green is the first spell you get, then it, when you upgrade it up to level six, it becomes purple, uh, sorry, blue. And then after six again, it becomes purple. So basically that's the way you upgrade your skills to another one. You can also see on this one here, if you read in the bottom of it, it says growth effect by grade. So basically when it becomes rare, the stun time of the spell here is going to be 2.3 seconds instead of 1.9. When it becomes epic, it's going to have a stun duration of 3.5 seconds, which is quite a big difference between 1.9 to 3.5. The same one with this one down here. This one has even more stuff. So when you upgrade up to rare, you know, blue can even counter a ranged attack or a magic attack. And when you make it epic, damage deal by counterattacks increased to 250% damage reduction which is pretty cool. So when you upgrade your spells, a, a very good tip I got from someone else was don't upgrade random spells. Pick one you want to upgrade first and upgrade it up so you get this, the bonuses from it. It's not worth to like just upgrade this a little bit, this, 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 this. It's about to get them up in a grade. So once you start upgrading one of your spells, get that one up to the next grade before you actually start upgrading another one. Now you're probably going to ask, how do I upgrade them? So when you hover on your spells, you can see there's this little arrow here. Click on it. Or I think you can also right click on it. Yeah, you can also right click. Now, now you will see that you will have this upgrade screen here. It very it, it looks like the same as um, the one when you upgrade your items. So basically you can see what I need to upgrade this one for is I need a quality training book great sword. And when you hold your mouse over it, it says an uh, oncoming active skill training book used for active skill growth of all great sword. So you can get this book by various ways in the game. You can click turn and say how to acquire. You can see if there's any like way you can get it. You can get it from a codex, which is a main mission. You can, uh, you can get it from lithograph books and events. There's some events that also drops them. But the biggest way that you would normally get them is through contract missions because contract missions uh well you can also get them through contract missions when you do the main quest you're gonna get a lot of them and not to one specific weapon the thing is when you do your contract sorry when you do your main quest you will be getting all these boxes here as you can see here these boxes here these boxes here 
used to acquire a, um, a quality of a passive skill. This is for passive one. This is for the active ones. So you get tons of these blue and green boxes when you do the main quest from 1 to level 50. So be careful when you actually upgrade your spells. Like, you know, I mean, not be careful, but if you if you go from the spec from the start of the game till end and you use all the things you get from your main quest, it's going to help you. If you suddenly decide to level in level 50, you want to play a totally different weapon. Of course, you can do that. There's no problem. You're just going to lose a lot of like skill points you got from the main quest. But I'm not saying you cannot reroll. Of course, you can reroll. It's just going to be like you're going to have level one spells instead of maybe high level skills. But that's just a grind again. So basically, when you do all these um, uh, main quests, you're going to get these boxes here, which you can see this box, this box. This, this is for the epic, epic one, purple one. This is for the blue ones. And this is for the green one. And very important again, you have different books depending on if it's an active skill you use or a passive skill. So it's not just like one. Also, when you do the contract missions, uh, contract missions, there we go. You will see some of the contract missions can actually give you uh, sk skills like this one here. Rare active skill training book used for active skill growth of all crossbows. So this mission here is going to specifically only give you a crossbow upgrade for active crossbow spells but when you do max level grinding you know then you don't do um, quests from here then you do them from over here carrying uh, pull light or watcher then you'll be able to randomly pick different weapons but again mainly you get them from main quests but of course you can do them from contract missions as well and events so on but let's try and open a box so we are going to upgrade my um we got to upgrade this one here and I need these books so we can open up the inventory here we need currently we need 100% like actually 95% to get it up and it cost me five every time so I probably needed like 15 or something so we're gonna open up the box we're gonna take the great sword there we go. Okay, let's see how much the first one. It, and again, every time you upgrade, there's a chance for sometimes you can see here right now it says there's a 10% chance to get a 100% row, like 100%. There's a 20% chance for a 70, 30% chance for 50, and 40% chance for 40%. So let's see. Okay, so we got the 40% ish, which is not very good. Now, Let's really hope that we get at least the 70 or 100 one. And I was very unlucky because now you can see I don't have enough to upgrade. I can put them in so I don't have them in my inventory. So they're just like waiting, but it still kind of sucks that, you know, I, I didn't have enough. The same we can do for the passive ones. Uh, we, for example, have a passive one here. We're using this one here, that one. Let's see if we have any passive one for weapon. There, yeah, passive ones. Open up. Uh, sword and shield, sword and shield, sword. There we go. Upgrade. And because you can see it's level one, it only needed to like, one, it doesn't only need one book. We are quite unlucky today. And. Oh, this one is good. Then you have to hold down your mouse. That was a really good one. There we go. <clears throat> and as you can see, there's no chance it actually fails. There's only the chance of um, uh, getting low percent instead of like high percent. So now we just got this one up from level one to four. And now you can see this one here is actually giving more mana recovery now and more shield block or defense banner recovery ratio so you can see every time how much it upgrades and as you can see these spells that you have with an arrow on right now is because you already you have actually passives for the, well you have the books so you can upgrade them so this one here um let's take that one yeah so i have one book because it's little one and, and that's it so can't really do more of course i still have the 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 chesters here so i could open these chesters and actually upgrade more spells which of course you should do there's no like reason to to keep them um so in my case for example i would like to upgrade 
well, I could upgrade um, this one here. So for that, I would need passives. There we go. I'm gonna open up them all. Say great sword. There we go. Gonna put this one here so it keeps doing it until it levels up. Now the easy one, and we got the low one only. Let's try again. Oh, one greater and one intimidate. Nice. And as you can see here, the greater one is the one that gives me 60, and the instability is the one that gives me 40. Let's try again. Nice. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. One common, one greater, one special. And now we just got my spell from, I think it was level 1 to 4, so that's not, that's not bad. Now I'm gonna get like way more mana every time I use a spell. Which is... Why did that one disappear? There we go. And of course I also have the books back for epic spells. So if I had some epic spells I want to upgrade, for example that one here, which gives me more HP, that would be nice. So we're gonna passive max great sword. Nice. Okay. A, a bit sad we got like one common. And uh, since you know these are very hard to get. Um the spell books for just kind of register the points in there so they don't like it put in my inventory. I think that was everything I had, right? Oh I also have uh, active skills of the blue. Well, we don't have to do more. You you I think you get the point now. So again why is my my face is weird. Um, so basically, that's that's it. You get the skill points, those books, passive sk active skills from either events, main quest, doing contracts, and you will just find these boxes when you do like different stuff. They will they will pop out. Don't worry. And that's the way you upgrade them to make them stronger. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And in case you want to watch me live stream this game on Twitch, you can find me on twitchtv dvalin Dvalin. And I'll be live streaming for Honor Liberty over on Twitch. And I live stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at 8 p.m. So, CT. Thanks for watching. Bye.